Hello and welcome to Mark Fixes Stuff. Today we're going to be looking at cleaning the contacts inside a Sega Master System cartridge and this is the wonderful Olympic Gold which uh, Anthony sent to me. Thank you Anthony. Um, and you can see it's had a bit of grief so that's why I've picked it for this particular treatment. Now the first thing we need to do is open the case. You can try and clean it with a cotton bird and, and stuff like that but I just don't think that's the proper way to do it personally. Well, oh, this had quite a lot of uh, grief now. On the back, we're going to see two um, security bit screws. Okay, for that, you need to use your security driver. This is the 4.5 millimeter game bit tool. Okay, and it's the same on all of the Sega uh, Master System cartridges. These are made to cam out, which means they're made to slip if you go too fast too far so you will get little marks on the back coating it's actually the way that we can tell if you've been inside not that it matters now because I suspect that the warranty is well and truly up on this cartridge so two uh, screws out separate the two halves of the cartridge often you can find clues inside the cartridge about um, how the cartridge has been treated but this actually looks pretty good bit of muck here and there so we'll move these two halves out of the way and have a look at the cartridge itself and we can see there's quite a lot of um, build up from the pins from there and on this side as well these are two sided Game Gear cartridges only have the one side these have two they also have a capacitor now these capacitors um, can be um, at the point of failure they don't often leak inside these cartridges but um, can be worth checking. I'm not going to do that in this uh, particular video, uh, but I will show you how to replace those in a other video. Okay, so um, first things first, going to get some isopropyl alcohol. We are going to get ourselves a clean cotton bud, and we are going to dunk a faucet cotton bud into a faucet isopropyl alcohol and have a good old clean. One pin at a time, there is never any substitute for elbow grease in any job really. It's the right tool for the job and the right amount of time spent doing it. So we can see when we put the dry side on, the difference between those ones and those ones, and it really is that simple. So, um, I'll probably uh, speed this bit up in the video. Look at the muck at the end of that. And that's why your Master System games aren't working, basically. Right over the top again, use the flat side this time. Okay, um, after that what I like to do is posh it off with a little bit of kitchen towel. If you have an extremely third um, connector, it's quite useful to use Brasso. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit on there. That now. now you are going to see some wear, because there's wear on it, but um, that's a lot cleaner than it was before. Now we'll start this zoom level I think and I'll show you the other side which hasn't been cleaned. Okay, and you can clearly see the difference there. What we'll do is we'll zoom in as close as we can, a bit too close. And um, I'll get rid of this one which is filthy. Get another cotton bud or Q-tip if you're in the States. Dunker for said cotton bud into the mix. And let's go for it this way. And it really is just a cleaning operation. Now, it's not always going to cure the problem. 
because sometimes there might be a problem with the cartridge itself. Sometimes the connector on the cartridge might be dirty as well as the connector in the machine. Okay, so you might need to invest in uh, invest some time in cleaning the actual cartridge slot, which is fairly easy to do, and I'll show in another video as soon as I get around to it. Okay. So um Right there. Again, I'm working through a camera on a tripod, so it's quite difficult for me to see. A quick buff. And there we go. Clean as a whistle, and that will work now. Nine times out of ten. Okay, often cleaning a cartridge, even if you've got 30 contacts, is enough to um, Know, get the the cartridge working even in a uh, a dirty slot. So, hope you've got a dirty slot, and I'll uh, see you in the next episode of Mark Fixes Stuff. Just going to pop this back together. Whilst you're not looking, it can only go one way. Can't believe I just signed out and uh, didn't finish the job. <laughs> what an idiot. Okay, so there we go. Pop the two screws back in. These are just ad hoc, these videos are very, very quick, so uh, excuse my crappy presenting style. Now remember, when you're screwing these back together, it's a 20 year plus piece of plastic, so you don't want to over tighten, for sure. Also, if you over tighten, you'll come out or slip. Thing. If you've got a very dirty um, cartridge, oh, very dirty cartridge, and just give it a wipe on the outside again with a bit of isopropyl alcohol. Keep it away from the sticker though, although this one's actually uh, beyond help, I think. Oh, out of focus there. Bit of IPA on the outside of the cartridge. Goes down a treat. I will often show scratches a bit more deeply. Okay, the filth. Oh, you filthy little bugger. Take off that. Yucky, gunky sticker on the back. Nice thing about IPA is it has no water in it, or a very, very teensy weensy amount of water in it, so it doesn't wet, it doesn't soak or kill. But if it gets to soak into a sticker, it will actually murder it. So, uh, there we go, that looks a lot better on the back. Yeah, it is what it is, to be honest, though. Um, so, uh, thank you very much for watching. This is Mark from Mark Fixes Stuff signing out and saying subscribe to get your fix. See you all soon. Bye bye.